Hi, I'm Megan from the Potomac Bead Company. I'm going to talk a little bit today about freeform peyote. This is a project that I've been using a lot and I tend to make bracelets or my favorite thing to do is make a freeform peyote headband which is an example right here. I will make about a 10 inch strip of freeform peyote and then just tie it onto leather so that you can loop it around your head. So you can reference our YouTube videos for what type of peyote you prefer to do. You can either do even or odd count. I prefer even because I think that it is less work. And I tend to start with a strip of the same shape or size of seed bead in order to get a consistent beginning and then you can start to switch your beads up from there. You can use any type of bead, though I would avoid using a two-hold bead like a Tila or a twin bead. You want to stick with 11 O's, 8 O's, 6 O's. You can use cubes. You can use small bugle beads. The more variety of your color and shape of bead, the more fun your piece will be. So once you get a basic strip started, you can switch up your shape and size of bead. The more variety, the better. And you make your bracelet as long as you need. And then you can attach your clasp. A lot of people like to keep their clasps as seed beaded clasp. This particular one here has two beads and then seed bead loops for attachment. For the headbands, all I do is just glue it onto a ribbon finding and that will give you a loop to attach your leather to. So at this point on this particular freeform peyote piece, I am working with 11 -0 seed beads. As you continue to go, you can make your section as wide or small as you want, as varied as you want, but when you go to switch to another size bead, sometimes you have to get a little creative about how you fit it in there. And it's okay to break the rules on this piece. It's kind of fun because it will give you the opportunity to make a great looking bracelet. So you can see I'm adding in 8 seed beads here. They're kind of not fitting as nicely as a 6 O's, but that's kind of the point. That's how you get these great waves in your bracelet. So you just continue with your regular peyote stitch, picking up one bead at a time and continuing on for as long as you want to use that particular size and color and giving a good tension on your thread as you go. One question that I often get asked when I am doing a freeform peyote bracelet is how to put the bugles in. So if you see here, I've started with 8 seed beads. I'm just going to skip a bead and go right through to the next one. And then I'll just continue on to finish off this row and as I come back I will put a bugle in there. And I will show you that here in a okay, minute. Okay, so I finished out the row and came back and as you can see there's a space here because I skipped that 8 seed bead when I was going up. So now I can pick up my bugle and go through this last eight that is sticking up and it will create a nice spot for my bugle to sit. That way, when you're putting in your bugles, they won't try to fit into a space where they don't fit and they won't start to zigzag on you. I hope you have found these hints helpful and decide to do a freeform peyote bracelet of your own and enjoy it as much as I do.